all those pages we can transfer the uh, URLs to the uh, websites list so if we transfer them down there open them up and there they are if we start commenting we'll get backlinks to all those pages um, so that's just a quick way of doing it you can harvest your you know your top 10 or 20 pages and transfer them down here and they'll be um, used in your backlinks and over here we've just got uh, check for updates uh, no update available I'm running the latest version uh, moving down here we've got comment poster uh, WordPress movable type and blog engine as I mentioned before when you harvest for a specific platform you also uh, select that option down here so uh, you harvest for say movable type when you go to comment uh, you also put it on movable type so that's your three blog platforms um, it's also got a ping mode and when you select that you'll see that there's two uh, input boxes there available I'll go and load up the um, default files here so it's to ping okay there it is that's your site um, that's the sites to ping so I'll ping all those domains uh, with my site as a refer I'll do another video on that one uh, that's the amount of uh, times to ping uh, moving over here we've got RSS um, I've also done a video on on that one so if you want to learn about the RSS uh, take a look at that one uh, trackbacks and these are um, sort of like a ping between blogs and you can get links by using um, the trackback feature I'll, I'll do a video on that one also uh, you got uh, check links and this allows you to check uh, a list of URLs uh, for your backlink so there's two input boxes there your site and the list of sites to check uh, so that one will, will skim through the whole list and tell you if the if your links um, on any of the pages actually I'll just open that one up and show you uh, that's it there the link checker uh, pretty basic start and it'll go through uh, this list of sites looking for um, your link uh, you can sp export out the links found links not found so I mean you can you can check your um, links after comment runs you can um, you know check to make sure link partners are still uh, linking to your domain and that sort of thing um, you got global pause so that one there anything that um, connects to the internet um, if it's running you can click that and pause it, uh, click it again to unpause it um, test comments I'll just go and uh, actually I'll load up a a uh, project here's a demo project so we open up the um, the test comments and you'll see here this is what um, your posted comment will look like on the blog that's that's your name email website and comment so you can you know go through and click this uh, verify that um, you know everything looks good before um, commenting because you don't want to go and comment to sort of 10,000 URLs and and mess up before you uh, you start so that can verify all that um, what else we got down here we've got uh, start posting so once you've loaded all your files like I have tested your comments um, I've got a video on that one. Uh, you got stop and abort. Um, this one here, you can export, you know, valid entries, uh, bad entries, uh, add to existing list. You can create a comment report um, after you finish commenting, and it will tell you the uh, website you got your link on, uh, the anchor text used, and and that sort of thing and um, these are your inputs for your commenter as I said I've got a video um, on that one and down the bottom here a few people have asked about uh, the incoming and outgoing traffic um, that it sometimes uh, moves while you're not doing, any, doing anything um, that's because it's reading the data from your network card um, I asked the Scrapebox team about that and um, it's not the um, data going in and out of Scrapebox itself it's uh, just simply showing you what your ne network card says so 
um, but I mean it'll give you a fair idea of um, uh, the data running when scrape was going. Uh, delay I didn't mention. Um, the delays used for harvesting, ping mode, page rank and email grabber. So uh, if you're harvesting from Google and you want to make it uh, appear natural, uh, that's a random function and that will do that'll fetch one page from Google uh, in between uh, one and thirty seconds I think it is so uh, that'll make it seem more natural so I mean that's that's all the buttons and dials in Scrapebox so um, I've got other videos that I've done on specific um, features but that's a basic rundown of everything. That's all your buttons and, and dials, but um, take a look at the other videos I've done on um, sort of dedicated parts of Scrapebox and um, yeah, just have a play around. If you've got um, if you've got a, a test site, a site you don't care about, well, when you first get Scrapebox, uh, use it on that. If you mess up, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, there's there's not a great deal you can mess up on either it will work or it won't work. But um, once you get the hang of it, it's not that hard. It may look uh, daunting, but uh, really it's not. So um, that's about it. So take a look at the other videos on uh, whichever function you want, and um, all the best.